with Maddox rods, Bagolini lenses do not shift location of the light. They just change the form of the light stimulus from a spot of light to a line of light. Oftentimes we can still see the spot of light as well as the line because the lenses are clear and the lines are very faint, the line markings on the lens. So since the two line images created by the two Bagolini lenses are in orthogonal orientations, they are not fusible. However, the surrounding environment can be seen through the Bagolini lenses and there's a lot of fusible stimuli in the surrounding environment. So someone with normal binocular vision typically will not go to plopic. In other words, they will not go to their forward position when they are viewing through the lenses. Someone with fragile binocularity, in other words, they have difficulty maintaining motor fusion, may go to plopic when the lenses are on and you can tell that they are experiencing either ESO or exodiplopia by whether they report the lines crossing above the two lights that they see or below the two lights that they see. I'm going to step through the animation on the slide so that you know why an exo deviation will create the perception that two lines are crossing below those two lights. The way that I remember this is that in the picture shown here, uh, it looks more like a V and in EXO, X is closer to V in the American alphabet than it is to S. So the patient will report a more V-like relationship between the two lines if he or she is experiencing an EXO deviation. So just to make this easy, we're going to think about the right eye devi out, deviating outward when the person is looking through um, the Bagolini lenses. In the slide that I'm showing you here, we are viewing the patient from the doctor's viewpoint. So imagine the patient is on the other side of this X and they are facing you. So the patient's right eye is over here, patient's left eye is over here. And if we orient those Bagolini lenses as shown in the previous slide, this is the right eye's projection, this is the left eye's projection. If the right eye turns outward, that means the right eye's temporal retina is going to receive the light image rather than its fovea. And for the temporal retina of the right eye, it will project that image uh, nasal with respect to the other eye's fovea. So remember, if this is the patient's right eye over here and this is the patient's left eye over here, if the right eye image is going to be projected nasally, the nose is in the middle, so we're going to project it over in this direction here. So when I click the slide, I'm going to move the right eye image to the left because that would be towards the patient's nose. And when we do that, uh, we get that same uh, image that we are seeing up here. So again, if you move the right eye's projection nasally, you're going to create uh, a perception in the individual that looks like this up here, and the opposite would be true for an ESO deviation.